Hey friends, Tux here. You know, every now and then, you just really need a physical CD player, a way of playing these little discs, these wonderful, magical little discs to listen to music, you know? And in my case, sometimes there's songs which just aren't available, you know, on MP3. Maybe there are CDs you already own that you want to listen to, or maybe you want to rip them to make MP3s out of them. But to be able to do that, you need a CD player because computers, most computers, don't have CD players anymore. They really don't, or any kind of disk drive, you know? So it's really important that we have a way of taking your physical media and listening to it on the road, on the plane, in the car, and ripping it for other uses too, you know? And that's where this comes in. This is available actually at Walmart, and I will have a link for you right below at the very best price, okay? But this is a cool little CD player with a lot of interesting little twists and turns that make this a really great little player due to unique features that it has with it, okay? Now, first off, you can see this comes in a very giftable little package, very nice here. It does feature a few little things in the front here. Nice picture of the player, more about that in a second. It has a built-in speaker. That is super unique. That almost puts us in the category of being like a little boom box or something. So it's really cool actually having a physical speakers built into the CD player, very unique. It has lossless sound for good sound quality. It's backlit so you can play it in the dark and has a rechargeable battery. You want that. You do not want a old Walkman that uses AA batteries. It's gonna run dead on you all the time. This is easily rechargeable. This is 2023. You want things that can be charged, you know, and this has got you covered, you know, which is really nice. On the back here, got a couple of extra little features here for you. It does talk about this is model CD51. 89B, okay, and it is power supply, 5 volts, 1 amp, but we'll talk more about that when it comes to the charging part once we open it up, and basically it has dimensions and stuff, I'm not going to spend too much time in the box because we want to see what's on the inside, don't we? Oh yes, we do. Alright, let's go ahead and open up the box here. Um, this is very giftable, so you can see, I like the little players, the headphones, the CDs, uh, they did a good job on this box, the box is very creative and fun. Let's go ahead and open this up here, and we'll see what we have. We have a book here. Let me go ahead and push this to the side just for a moment, the little CDs. Okay, so we have a little manual here. So it comes with a, a good sized book here, guys. So this does have a lot of features. It's a very feature rich CD player for the money. So it's cool they actually include a book here with lots of little details. Talks about uh, being able to actually have, it comes with headphones. Oh, that is cool. So many things don't include headphones these days. That's great. It actually comes with a nice little pair of headphones with a wired remote control so you can actually pause and skip and increase volume on the on the actual headphone cable so that is really cool you don't see much of that these days so that's a nice little touch for sure um, we'll just skim through these pages real quick talks about all the different little things here of course this does have power on and off power in charging LED earphone port physical port for earphones which is really cool volume knob hold on and off mode button previous button program that's interesting you can actually program it to play songs like a to b um high-end cd players in the past it was very popular to have like a b function which is really cool play pause eq speed plus wow what is with that i'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more next speed minus and open very interesting just again a lot of features very feature rich cd player for the buck um very good value has some troubleshooting tips for you so that's always good in case you have problems with reading your discs um, user guide talks about how to insert a disc you know people haven't had CD players for a while and there might even be some people out there that have never owned a CD player so this might make a really great gift because CDs actually the cool thing about CDs before I go further I mean, let me mention that I mean if you go to the Salvation Army if you go to yard sales you can find like lots of great discs for very little money so it's great to be able to play some of this physical media you know on your own device which is really important I think to preserve the history of music and especially if you have like special editions or imports and things like that there's a whole wide variety of physical media out there which is not that expensive and it's really fun to collect you know so it's great to be able to play your physical media on an actual player you know I want to take a look at the accessories next um, looks like we have a little
little bag here. We'll pull this out and see what we have in our, our little accessory bag. And it looks like we have a couple things here. Um, first off, oh, we got three things, okay. First off, it does have a 3.5 to 3.5 jack. So this is really useful, the fact that they give you this. And this is like a, like a 3 or $4 value they include this. This is great for actually plugging this into another type of device or importing, you know, music or something into here. There's a lot of ways you could take this and take this like, you know, out and plug it into a bigger stereo or plug it into a car stereo. Like think about that, how useful that would be being able to play actual CDs in your car. Most newer cars don't have a CD player, but now you can play your physical discs in a car. I know that seems mind blowing and that cars don't have CD players, but they really don't. My Corvette has no CD player, you know, so now I can actually play CDs in the car, which is pretty darn cool. And they even give you the cable to be able to do it, which is really nice. The next cable here is actually a charging cable. And this particular device here is USB, as you can see right there, I'm sure you're familiar with USB to USB-C. Okay, so that's the more modern, newer USB, okay, which is really great. And what's cool about it is not only does it fast charge, it's the fact that this cable, you know, you could charge your phone with this cable. You could plug this into another compatible USB-C, you know, charging cable. Maybe you're charging your phone and then you can pop in, you know, your CD player and charge it that way. So it's really easy to charge with other devices. So I like that a lot, that it's very compatible with your hardware ecosystem. It's not like a proprietary cable that only works on one thing, you know, so it's nice you can charge it. But, you know, I think it's cool they actually give you the cable because I can always use another USB-C cable. I can. And then finally here, the third item here, the third accessory is actually the headphones. And we'll check this out. And like I mentioned, this actually appears to have a control, like a volume control, oops, a volume control on it. Looks like they give you a little extra rubber ends, which is really nice too. I did just lose one of them on the floor, but there's a small one. It comes with a slightly larger one actually on it. So these are really good to help kind of keep them in your ear, which is nice. Um, the, the black look to it is very sleek. Does have a little L for left and R for right. And then there is this part right here is that control I told you about. So you can actually increase the volume. You can decrease the volume. You can skip songs. It's a clickable. It does have a tactile tactile feedback so when you click it you feel that you clicked it which is actually kind of nice because sometimes touch things like you're not quite sure if you're touching or not touching when you actually have a real button you can click it actually is satisfying in a way that you know that you just advance that song. It's not like you're hitting it three times and it doesn't advance and then it goes too far or something, you know. So I do like buttons that actually click. And this is a 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack, okay. So this is, you know, something that works on, you know, certain cell phones, MP3 players, you know. It's great they actually give you a pair of headphones, you know. So that's awesome. It includes everything you need in one box to enjoy some music. Okay, and then finally, guys, here, check it out. The player. Oh, yes, the player. We pull this out. Comes very nicely packed, I'll say, too. And uh, not just foam, but it has, like, felty uh, top around the foam. So it's just one of those little touches to show that they really care about their product. They're packing it nice, not just in foam, but there's felt on the top of the foam. That's, that's very nice packing, you know. That's an extra step they didn't have to do, but they did for you. Now, here's the player itself. Let's check it out. We'll pull it out. It has a good amount of weight to it. It feels like a very good quality player. And yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's a lot of buttons on here, guys. Um, let me go ahead and peel off the little... There we go, the little shiny uh, protective plastic. And I can tell this is definitely a quality player. Oh, look, there's actually a spot for um, for a little memory card. I did not expect that. That's very interesting. I wonder if there's a way you could actually rip songs off the CD onto a memory card on this unit. Very interesting. It has little rubbery feet. These are grippy, so that's good. So it won't slide too much, which is very cool. I'm going around the sides here. So we have memory card. We have power on and power off. We have the USB charge, and again, this is where you'd plug in your USB-C. So let me just show this real quick. So we have our USB-C here. We're just going to plug this in like that, and then this would plug into a power strip, a cell phone charger, whatever it takes USB, um, which is just a million things, your laptop, your computer, a million power strips, like many ways to charge via USB, but that's what that's all about. I'll unplug it now just to have one less cable. Here's a spot for the headphones. So this is where you'd take your headphones or your car jack and just plug that in just like that, and then listen to your music. So very cool. 
simple. And if you're actually using it in a car, it'd be very simple. You just plug in one end of this 3.5, okay, 3.5 millimeter, plug it in there. And then this other one you plug into your car, like the input on your car, and that's how you get music going into your car. So very cool stuff. Lots of great ways of taking music in and out of here. We have a physical uh, volume, and this does have a little bit of a toggle to it, which is really cool too. So it feels very springy, very nice. Very cool to have a actual volume button. And we do have a hold, which that's important too, because sometimes like if you're jogging, if you're throwing this in a backpack or something, you know, it's nice to be able to actually click, you know, a hold button so you can actually hold where you're at, which is nice. Now for opening this device, it has this, uh, I think Sony was the first one I seen that has this nice little slide open. So basically you just take this and you pop that and then the, it opens just like that. And your CD goes right in there. So very simple. Let me go ahead and take a CD here. Here's little import so little uh, idle band I listen to and we'll take this out and we need to just pop that in just like that and if you've never seen a CD being put into a player before it's really about the size as you see the CD player there is almost the same size as the CD so it's a nice compact little player and you just shut it just like that very cool and on the front here we have a lot of good things I've already got some fingerprints on here <laughs> it has like mode program a, B, like we are talking about, fast forward, speed, speed plus, speed minus, EQ. Wow, a lot of cool functions here. Let me go ahead and try and power this on. And we hit power, and you can see there it's powering up. We've got some little indicators showing the battery. It's actually reading the CD here. And, oh, I should probably dim the lights here. It looks like these are backlit buttons. Whoa! That is pretty loud, actually. I didn't think it would automatically go to the default speakers, which are right here and here. It actually will play directly from the unit. Now, unfortunately, YouTube does not allow me to play long bits of copyrighted music. So this J-pop band, I probably should not play the whole song because it may just be copyrighted. But um, I was surprised and pleasantly surprised that it actually went right to the speakers. So that was good. And that, I, that was it's not even all the way up in volume, you know. But it actually, see right there is volume uh, 16, 17. You can go up or down with it. And it was not even all the way loud. And it was pretty darn loud, actually. You know, so on the front here, we have controls like play, pause. You can pay, hit play. You can hit pause. And here is the EQ right down here, too. So you can actually change the EQ from pop to rock to jazz, all that good stuff. So there's a lot of good different EQ settings, which is great. But I tell you what, I'm going to take a quick break here. I'm going to listen to some music, and I'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to do a little demo of the CD player in a car. So I have my C7 Corvette right now. We use the included supplied cable, which runs through and kind of plugs into a hole right in here in the center console. And I have it hooked up. Now it's just on auxiliary input here. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and hit it and see what this sounds like. Here goes. Whoa, that's good. Good bass, man. Uh, yikes. Okay, I can't play commercially licensed music on YouTube, of course, with copyrights and that kind of thing. But you can see it sounds pretty darn good, like great bass response. It sounds very loud. Um, definitely sounds awesome, you know. And this is kind of a sampling of what it sounds like with the right headphones as well. So definitely pretty cool stuff. And, of course, you can play any genre of music. Okay, to recap, this is a great little player for you. There's so much to love in the package. You get everything you need to start enjoying physical media on this rechargeable stereo speaker. It has speakers built into the CD player. That is simply amazing, guys. And the fact that you get all the cables, things to plug into different devices, like car stereos and big stereos. The fact you get some decent little packed-in headphones with a wired remote control. It's just a really nice touch. And I found myself while listening to some different things. I listened to uh, some J-pop stuff. I listened to Faith No More, uh, Mr. Bungle. Checked out some different artists on it. It sounds great. I think my favorite EQ setting is rock, although really I think the jazz is really good. There's definitely a, a wide variety of EQ settings, so no matter what type of music genre you're listening to, I think you'll find something that you'll like, actually, which is good. The little pack-in headphones are nice, you know, for being freebies. They sound pretty darn good. I would challenge you to find a better pair of pack-in headphones. Now, of course, if you wanted to buy some more elaborate headphones, you could easily plug your expensive, you know, noise-canceling headphones or whatever right into this player. It's definitely made to 
take on different devices. You can plug it in a car, you can plug it into a computer, you can do all sorts of things with the included, you know, 3.5 millimeter cable, which is great. It's a mail to mail cable, so you can plug it into other devices, which is really cool. You know, the battery life, it's rechargeable, which is great, so you're not going to be wasting time with like little batteries, which is good. It basically says that it will last about four hours with the included charging um, cable and 12 hours if you're playing music at a medium volume you know and of course there's a lot of variables to like how long a battery will last but so far this battery um, has not went dead on me at all I've been listening to music quite a bit this afternoon so it's definitely something where the battery is great it lasts a long time and of course you can just recharge it you know it's not like batteries you have to replace which is great but this could be really good for like travel think of like a long road trip you plug this in your car listen to some great music you know so many cars don't have CD players now now you can actually use it which is really great you know so Great stuff. And if you take go out of the car, you can listen to it with the speakers, you know, the built in speakers. If you don't want to use headphones and share the experience with someone else. Now, one thing which is really unique to this, which I don't see on a lot of CD players, is the whole speed up or speed down. I found myself having a good time taking some of my favorite artists I know and just speeding up and slowing it down. It's very interesting to be able to have that power, much like a turntable, to actually speed it up or slow it down. And um, I found that really unique and cool, actually. So, you know, if there's any little practicing DJs out there, you might find some really cool uses for that speed up and slow down besides just the funness of actually playing things at a slightly faster or slightly slower volume than usual, you know. But it's great it has that option, you know. All in all, guys, just a great little player quality low player for the money you're gonna you definitely get your bang for your buck out of this so i'd recommend checking it out and again physical media these days guys you can get cds very inexpensively so this could be a great way of introducing someone you know and love to music and the fun of collecting music and playing music and sharing music with other people so anyway guys check it out i'll have a link for this right below so be sure to click that link to get yours at the very best price okay if you have any questions about this player let me know in the comments below or shoot me an email to tuxtoys at gmail.com but I bet you'll have a lot of fun with this player and again it doesn't cost a lot of money it's such a good time for not a whole lot of money you know so check it out guys and this is also a player which you're buying this is quality this feels like a nice quality player that if it was like a Sony or something it would cost like four times the price like it's a really good deal guys okay all right friends thanks for watching this video I appreciate it again any questions let me know and we'll talk to you soon Bye-bye.